Doubt it. Well, welcome everyone to this Thursday night's edition of Southern Woods and Waters, and I hope that you're having a great, great week this week. We have an awesome show. I know I tell you that each and every week, but I mean it each and every week. I have a better show this week than I did last week. And with me, I have the man is in the house. He is, I'm telling you, if, if he doesn't do nothing but just carry me right, I want around for moral support, I'm, I'm always encouraging this guy. I love him. He is an awesome, awesome fisherman in this area. Great, great friend, Dr. David Genevico. You all know him as the man that wins. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you, hey, David. Here. Thanks for having me. Awesome. And we have two other fine, fine guests that are brand new, brand new friends of mine. Just met today. We already have a, a kindred relationship with them, and that is I have Steve and Chris from Dunkin' Donuts. They're going to be your friend, too, I can tell. <laughs> Thank you Thanks so you. much, Steve. Thank, Thank you, you so Thanks much, Chris. Y'all are you. awesome. Got to meet you today. We had a we had a 10 o'clock meeting or 9.30, whatever it was. Lasted a good long while. We couldn't get apart from one another. But uh, who wants to when you're in a facility like Dunkin' Donuts and you smell all that donuts and you're drinking all that fine coffee? That, it, and it never stopped for y'all. I noticed that the, the drive through kept going, people were walking in and out, and just, y'all feed the masses. Well, thank you very much, Sheila. We had a great time as well. It was nice to have you stop by and enjoy some of our donuts and coffee, and we couldn't get away from you, so I, we're here I, tonight. I, I, we we stayed with you. You're right <laughs> with you. Hey, I love that. And David just is <laughs> loving it. David, they have that Boston accent. And you and I both love that. Yeah, we're going to probably make fun of it before it's all said and done, I would say. <laughs> you are, I'm not. <laughs> but I tell you what, David, you've been, uh, let, let, let's go ahead and, and tell everybody a little bit about the show tonight. We have David Genevico. He's been out on Kentucky Lake. I've been reading your Facebook, brother. He's been out on Kentucky Lake. Just started going out there here recently. Mm -hmm. You got fourth place the other day. I did. Finished fourth See, in, the, think I know that. in the Bass Weekend Series <laughs> last weekend. I did. I follow you, brother. I keep up with you. And, and tell us, how how's Kentucky Lake comparing now? Well, honestly, I really hadn't gotten to fish much. Um, I guess it's a blessing and a curse when business is busy. I feel like... Um, I feel like I was the dog that was chasing the car and finally caught it. So <laughs> my business, um, I, I, I've got a hearing business, Advanced Hearing Solutions in Mount yes. Juliet. You know that. I've helped some of your folks. Yes, awesome. Um, and we've been exceptionally busy. So I honestly have not been fishing in almost three months. That's probably what? an all-time record for that me. That is. Um, my wife is like, are you okay? What's going Shit, on? You, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway. But no, I spent four, well, three and a half days last week on Kentucky Lake. I had a two-day kind of end of the year, I, I guess you call it a fish-off, out of moors on the mm -hmm. north end. And not having been in a long time, I just made up my mind I'm going to do what I want to do. And I went and fished the grass and threw a Strike King Sexy Dog for four days straight. My twitcher's a little bit tired from, <laughs> from doing that for four days straight, but I caught some good fish. Um, I didn't catch them real good in the tournament. I would have liked to have done a lot better, but they're biting, and it sure is fun to watch them come get well, that sexy dog. Well, fourth place dog. is no slouch now. Come on. You know, I, I tend to aim a little bit higher, yeah, but, but it's okay. It's it, good. It's great. It's, good. it's something to hold your head up about, right. I promise. Thank you. Because uh, you went, across, uh, went against some of the best in Kentucky, Tennessee, as far as fishing Kentucky Lake. Yeah, there are some real good fishermen. Uh, I'll put those guys up against some of the elites any day. Absolutely. You know, um, you can name the top sticks on Kentucky Lake, and yeah, they can hold their own just about anywhere. And anytime you do well in a tournament, and, and I mean anywhere, Kentucky Lake, Gunnersville, but even Priest and Old Hickory, a big tournament, you've beaten some really, really good yeah. fishermen to do it. So yeah, it's something to hold your head high on. I gotta say, uh, a big congratulations to John Graves. Uh huh. John Graves won the other day, and that was a big, big tournament. Yeah, he won he? the um, Cedar City tournament. Yes, he won the Cedar yeah. City tournament, and yeah. John even messaged me on Facebook. He wants to come be on the show. I said, well, David's first. So. <laughs> <coughs> so he probably John, deserved this seat if he won. I just yeah, came in fourth. And by the way, by the way, <laughs> Joy and I happened to go into CeCe's restaurant the other uh -oh. day. Our good friend owns CeCe's restaurants. And one of, uh, I met Jeremy Etheridge's mom and dad. Okay. Boy, did they have a lot to say about David's Oh, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hope they're not watching. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I told them, I said, y'all watch because we're going to give you a big shout out. But uh, Jeremy Etheridge's mom and dad were there yeah. across from us. We, and they speak very, very highly of you and Jeremy Etheridge and your good friend and mine, Jason Singh. Yep. And they had a lot to say about all three of you boys. Well, good. And uh, said that the, the problem was getting you off the ponds, not not getting you to the ponds. You know, Jeremy, <laughs> I met Jeremy, we went to Lipscomb. Yeah. And, um, and Jason and I were roommates at Lipscomb. And I can remember going over to Jeremy's house. I was probably 19, 20 years old. You know, going in the backyard. We were shooting bows in the backyard. Yes. And we were, we were going fishing. And... Man, that's been 20, that's been more than 20 years ago. <laughs> Dang, I'm, I'm dating myself here. But yeah, I, those, they're good folks. Great, great folks. Great, great. Uh, and, and their daughter, Jeremy's um, sister, she won a tournament the other day right. at, out there. Yes. she No, she did. She got second. That's right. She got second place. But let's say, awesome. she, let's yeah, say she won. Let's Why say she we? won. Nah. It's our show. We can say what we want to. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it's great to have. Uh, guys like David grew up doing this sport anyway, and you, you turned out well, David. You turned out well. Thank uh, you. You're a great uh, person in the community, uh, highly respected in the Mount Juliet Wilson County community, and uh, you deserve it. Thank you. Um, I, I put in a few hours out there on the lake. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've stared at that hummingbird for a few hours, and I mean, people think that winning tournaments is all about you know having a secret bait or having a secret spot. It's two things. It's working hard and it's making good decisions. That's and that's it. really what that's what being successful in tournaments is all about. People think it's a secret bait and mm -hmm. I I'll, I'll tell you this story real quick. These guys some of these guys are probably watching but I um I won two big tournaments in a row in June on Kentucky Lake. I won the Strike King tournament. We Strike King's one of my great sponsors and that was a real good tournament to win. tournament to win. And I won the uh, Hope Center tournament. And those guys were staring, looking off in the boat, and I might have, I might have steered them the wrong direction just a little bit. But I'm gonna tell you, it's not about a secret bait. It, it's about just doing your homework. That's what it's all about. And, and that's basically all it is: uh, making the right decisions, finding the fish, staying on them, not hurting them. Yep. And uh, just make it happen for you. Yeah, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. And it, it really, that's the hardest thing in fishing. You know, we've talked about this before. You say, David, I go out on Friday. I don't like. I think you told me you don't like fishing on Fridays because when don't. I catch them, I don't catch them on Saturday. It's all about figuring out, okay, what happened yesterday or what happened on Thursday, and trying to translate that into, okay, how long do I stay here? When do I make a move? And the guys that are really good at it are the ones that keep winning. And it, yeah. again, they don't have a secret spot. I, every time I come on here, I talk about my buddy Adam Wagner. Yes. That guy, he fishes by the seat of his pants, and he'll go do three things that he did for three days and call them it doesn't work, and he'll just be like, I'm just going to go over here and do what I think is right. And he catches them a whole lot more often than he doesn't. <laughs> it's about making decisions. By the way, I talked to his better half, Burl Shirley, today. <laughs> <laughs> Burl Shirley is uh, um, He's an individual his own right. I went, I went dove hunting with Burl and Adam a couple weeks ago or on, op I on opening about day. That. Yeah. I did. We had a blast. My 12-year-old uh, my Dawson killed his first limit of doves out there with me and Burl kind of <laughs> standing over his shoulder <laughs> telling him to shoot them. So we, we had a blast. We had a good time. Well, I'll tell you what. That is awesome. We're going to have more with David and Dunkin' Donuts. We got our two newest friends here tonight. We're going to talk to them a little bit more in depth on this next segment. But right now, we're going to go to visit our sponsors that help make this show available to you each and every week. So if you're in there and you're trying to make a decision on one of these, choose one of ours. We'd love to have you. Thank you, and we'll be right back with more Southern Woods and Waters.